This is your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Dave Ellis, and if 23 years ago you thought you saw the last game in Jenison Fieldhouse for Michigan State basketball, I hope you were around campus on the weekend because the Spartans came back to their ancestral home to play one more time to celebrate the game of change. Almost 6,600 people saw a concert by the Commodores, then watched the Spartans play Tuskegee. Keith Appling matched a career high with 25 points and only played 27 minutes to get some rest. Derek Nix got his first double-double of the season with 11 points and 13 rebounds. MSU won easily 92-56 in their encore performance at Jenison. I don't know what my players got out of the weekend. I think I do, but I don't know for sure. But I know for me it was a positive. It was a positive being back in Breslin, or Jenison. It was a positive with our players that came back. Hockey in need of a win at home against Ferris State to close out the first half. They were tied at one in the third when Chris Forfar redirected a puck to the bottom corner, his second goal of the season, and the second straight home game with a goal. Tanner Sorensen made sure of it with the insurance marker, 3-1 the final, ending a six-game winless stretch and starting the break on the right foot. You say, hey, it's nice to get a win out of here against a, a team that matches up real well against us and is tough to beat. And so let's, you know, go into this break. We knew it was coming. We can go in feeling, you know, pretty good about tonight's performance. Women's Hoop closes out the Game of Change weekend at Jenison at 2 p.m. on Sunday when they meet IPFW. They'll get two players back from suspension. That will offset the season-ending injury to Brandy Agee. Never a dull moment for Susie Merchant. With the situation that we've had, some of the adversity, we really just focus on the one in front of us. So this will be the week we have an opportunity to kind of look back and, and appreciate the fact that we're part of this and that we can end a, a great weekend uh, celebration here over there in Jenison. One last game at Jenison this weekend. It's the women on Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. That's your two-minute update. I'm Dave Ellis. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.